What's up, Culture Drop? Galen here. This video is about career development, talent development inside your company, being intentional about who is where and like bringing people up and growing them inside the organization. Also a quick shout out to Big Brothers Big Sisters. You are awesome, hello friends. Okay, let's rock. This is something that's really important and I'm gonna read a tweet that a friend sent to me this morning and I was like, I have to do a culture drop about this. It's great, this is brilliant. My work just rolled out a whole career development path of what would be generally expected of each position and what it looks like to grow and the path to get there and goals. Just a little thing that made me super happy this morning. Awesome. This is such a great example of talent mapping and like career development path inside organizations. This is what I think every company should do. Take your org chart. If you're a small company and you don't have an org chart, that is okay. Just write down every position that exists inside your whole company, who reports to who, etc. Now, for each and every single one of those positions inside your company, write down the skills, the traits, the like attributes of what each position should have. Somebody in this position, and I don't want you to think about the people that are currently necessarily in those positions just look at each of these positions this is what requires like this is what's required of someone to be really successful so if there are people like if there are people leader that they have high emotional intelligence be specific about these are the traits these are the roles this is the thing that is important for each of those positions determine what traits and like what would be phenomenal for somebody in this role to have and then once you do that think about what is the career path inside your organization to get there what are the goals what are the skills what is required if you're here in the org chart and you want to get to here like what is the path for that such a great idea there are many benefits to being super intentional like this about something like this inside your company. First of all, if I'm a brand new employee somewhere in there, maybe I'm on the front line and I'm just starting, right? It's an entry level position. For me to be able to look at something that is like a document that says, here is what a career path and career development looks like inside this organization. It's so great for me to be able to see if I want to get to here, this is what that looks like. These are the skills. This is what it takes. This is what I need to develop. In terms of employee experience, this is so helpful for retention, for people feeling like they belong. It also proves to your employees that you care about them. You care about their development. You're not going to let somebody get stuck and stay in some position because they're good at it. Like you are invested in people growing and having an opportunity to grow here, proving to your people that you care about them in a way that is meaningful to them. What is in it for me? And if I can see my path and my growth inside this company, that's very, very awesome. It's also helpful for the sometimes like rough area of like internal promotions. So when a new position opens up and internal candidates apply for it, if you already have something in place that says, this is what it takes to be here. These are the traits. This is what we're looking for be in this position. And that's transparent. And anyone in the organization can look at that and they know that then when you make your hiring decision, it's also like, we didn't hire this person because we like them because they They've been here the longest. We hired them because they fit this profile of this position the best. So people know what they're shooting for, which creates less like, oh, you just made that decision based on like you like this person or, or whatever. It, it creates less static and less guessing or assumptions in terms of why you chose the internal candidate that you did to put in that position. This is also incredibly helpful for you as an organization before you make any hiring decision from the outside, not just bringing people up internally, but if you're hiring for a leader or somebody inside the organization that you already have a profile to say, this is what we're looking for here. These are the traits, these are the skills, these are the sort of attributes of this person that we're looking for um, so that you can make better, more informed hiring decisions instead of just picking the person that you like the most. And dun dun dun. This is also something that if you do as an organization, you might through this process discover people who are in the wrong positions, who are the wrong person for the wrong role. They don't fit there. And harsh but true, tear off the band-aid because the people who are in the wrong positions that do not have the traits and, and skills that you want in those positions are the flat tires inside your organization. And I don't mean immediately go to those people and fire them like that. In a lot of cases, that is the right thing to do, but also look to redevelop those people, reassign them Be like, where would this person fit? And be more successful inside the organization because doing this work you will probably discover in a lot of teams and organizations that you just you have some of the wrong people in the wrong positions and that is what makes a whole part work you can't like drive a car well if you have a flat tire and people who are in the wrong positions with the wrong skills like are they make organizations harder to run they like they hurt teams they just they're less successful because of it anyways brilliant i think every leadership team should do this come together be intentional you have an org chart this is something as you think about culture as you think about employee experience, you think about developing people and what that looks like, this is a really easy way to take a look at your whole organization and say, what do we want where? Um, I think it's brilliant. It helps with retention, like culture. It helps you make better decisions. Kudos to that company for doing that. Like every company should do that. 
Thanks for watching and tuning in. Subscribe to our channel. We put a lot of content on here. You can also subscribe to the Culture Drop mailing list and get these emails in your inbox every Tuesday morning. Follow our social media channels. Uh, put a lot of free content out about just being more awesome and building great teams.